Well, I'm here uh, with the National Hispanic Leadership Agenda, which is a group of 40 top national Hispanic organizations. And we're here at the Republican Convention. Next week we'll be at the Democratic Convention, giving our uh, take on Hispanic priorities. I'm here specifically because I'm the uh, co-chair of the Health Committee for the, or, uh, for the coalition. And uh, we're here to educate all delegates and participants that are interested in increasing the health of the Latino population in the country. First of all, we really believe in access to care, and it's so important to have access to all, all uh, persons in our community, including the undocumented. We don't believe in building walls. Uh, secondly, the, we really think that Medicaid, which is uh, the largest health insurance program now in the country, should be continued to be expanded, not block granted to states. Uh, and thirdly, I think most importantly, the Affordable Care Act is a, uh, is a direction that this country it took a long time to have insurance uh, that was um, bought in by all the stakeholders. Hospitals you know, are going to decrease some of their uh, federal funding. Clinics are going to be expanded. Uh, private physicians are going to have to uh, have a whole new reimbursement system on quality care, patient-centered care. And the federal government is, is going to be able to uh, understand a little bit more about working with private sector insurance companies. And that Affordable Care Act, which is a really a public-private group, uh, I don't know, it's just a major transformative law, is something that we really strongly believe in, in building and correcting, not dismantling and starting all over again. So those are probably the the major differences. Health disparities for us, but we also look at it in a different lens. We look at it as health equity. Hispanics are now the largest minority group in the country, and they're the future of this country. So that we need, we need workforce, we need, we need uh, students, we need military, we need leaders. They're going to be from our Hispanic community. And we can't do any of that without having quality lives with uh, caregivers and community health workers nurses, doctors, dentists from our community that takes care of our community. And for the rest of the country to understand that if they're not Hispanic, they need to understand how to be culturally competent so that they can take care of Hispanics within the healthcare system because we're going to be the, the major consumer of health. We're going to be the workforce of the country, which is in the major industry of the country, which is health. Uh, and hopefully we'll be in the leadership of healthcare, our community hospitals, our community clinics, you know, the original uh, groups of people that started these organizations are retiring, and it's this generation and our next generation that's going to be the leadership of the healthcare system in this country.